Hello and welcome to video 3 of Blender to Arma 3 and in this video we are going to be going over how to create weapon animations for Arma 3 in Blender. And so in the example file that I gave you you are going to have this animation pane which you can get to by using this menu at the top and what that enables you to do is, is animate the weapon. Now in the first video we went over some of the basic Arma properties and in this video we're going to go into more detail of what these different properties do. So the very first thing that you'll notice in this uh, animation plane is that this is a rig for the Arma character and this is an IK rig. Now what an IK rig does in, in comparison to let's say a non-IK rig or a cat rig is that if I move the hand it moves everything else. That is different from a cat rig, which you have to move everything individually. You know, for example, if it would be moving each and every single little detail separately, which doesn't really look, it, it, it's a pain in the ass to do. There are people that do it, but you know, for my purposes, it's much easier to be able to, you know, move the hand and it moves the entire arm. Um, now, in this. I want to say with the Arma tools, which what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to make an animation here, and then afterwards, we will put in the keyframes from Blender into the Arma toolbox. So, for example, here is the current keyframe, and then here's the next keyframe after that, and it automatically will turn it into the RTM that will be used for Arma 3. So, let's get started. Okay, so the very first thing that you want to do is you want to create a hand animation. And this is the animation that is present by you know by default. And it's always and it's usually it's what the hands usually do when they're on the weapon. Obviously, if you're playing a reload animation or you're doing something else, the animation will change, but this is a animation that is masked more or less to the left and right hand. And what this enables you to do in with the Arma 3 tools for Blender is you can export just that keyframe. So what you'll notice here is I have a basic pose that is already set up and I was able to do this by exporting screenshots from Arma 3 to see what the default pose was in game and trying to mimic it as best I possibly could as in getting as orthographic as shot as I possibly could. This is so that when you begin and end your animation your character is not jerking to a non-neutral position. Now in the animations that I make it's as close as I can possibly get. Um, I think Toadie 2 k has a... He, he uses a rig in 3ds Max and I believe you can actually take some of the Arma 3 samples that Bohemia has provided and import them in the 3ds Max and get the more accurate pose, but this is more or less what the pose will be, and I'll provide this updated uh, example file on the bottom. But the very first thing you want to do is to create the hand position. So right now this hand position is set up for an AK that doesn't have the grenade launcher. And let's say that we want to move it out there. Well, the way you select things in Blender, if you don't already know, which that means you didn't read the disclaimer at the beginning, is you can right click on things when you're in pose mode. So once in pose mode, you right click on this hand here, and what it will do is it'll move it out to where it needs to be. Now, the th and again, the beauty about an IK rig is it goes to wherever you really need it to be. And we, you just move it out so that it can uh, line up with whatever your model you're making. Now, the one thing I, here's the first disclaimer of a long list of disclaimers. This armor rig does not line up perfectly with the rig in game. I don't think any rig that exists uh, lines up perfectly with it, one in game. So you may make a animation, you might get your hand position in this super perfect spot and you think it's absolutely perfect and then you get in game and, and, and it's wrong. Well, never fear, that's just because things aren't perfect. This isn't a Bohemia-supported tool, and, uh, you know, you do what you gotta do. There's gonna be a lot of times where 
you are where you are you know opening things in blender and out of blender and then going into the game to see if it works and then coming back out and etc cetera, etc cetera, etc cetera, to see whether or not what you've done is right and as as much as I'd like to for Bohemia to release let's say a, a true developer version of Arma that doesn't require you to go into the game to actually see how the gun performs or even better for you to be able to update the content without restarting Arma you know you're going to have to restart Arma export something from Blender port it into Arma see if it works etc now you can see here I had to, I over in this pane in the first person view pane which I can maximize just a little bit this is so that I can see more or less what it's going to look like in first person. Now, depending on whether or not you play with an aiming dead zone is where your weapon's going to be. So, in for example, with my Arma settings, the weapon is actually down here for me. But that's just, you know, it can be up here. And this is more or less where the neutral position is. And as you can see, I moved the hand. It was in here holding onto the magazine well. And now it's out there towards the you know holding on to the grenade launcher tube now it is also possible to move it so that it would be actually on the grenade launcher deal here but the reason why I don't recommend that is you wouldn't be holding on to the grenade launcher tube I excuse me you if you're not using the grenade launcher you'd be holding on to the grenade launcher tube if you're using the grenade launcher you'd be holding on to the 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 actual grenade launcher handle and trigger assembly well since arma doesn't have an animation system that switches in between the two i per i personally i would prefer to create an animation where you're holding the grenade launcher as it looks weird to run around holding the grenade launcher you know assembly all the time even though you're not actually using it and, and especially when it comes to the other animations in game it looks weird when your hand is bent holding that grenade the, that that specific part of the grenade launcher another big tip and this is something that's just really unfortunate about arma is that arma does not have wrist bones so even though this is moving and it's twisting the wrist if you see here and you start twisting the wrist too much you will actually twist the arm and deform it. Now this green uh, control here actually controls how far the arm is twisted itself, but instead of it twisting just the wrist, it twists the whole arm. And, and that's a way for you to maintain some kind of, uh, I wanna say, non-deformity. But the problem though comes in, let's say that you did want to uh, have it held by the, the uh, magazine well here. You know, let me get it into position and then you know turn off the render so you know it's something like that you know it'd be a little closer you know something something like that and you you'd get all the fingers and they're right well the problem is is you bring that into arma and based on the, the way the masking in arma works this this wrist will actually be severely deformed so the best way I like to think of it is if a if your weapon can have a grip it's better for it to have a grip because the web, the arm being stretched out and vertical has the least amount of deformities. The next least amount of deformities is when the wrist is relatively close to the player and completely horizontal. And then, of course, there's one where it's about a medium distance away from the camera and up. And, and, and let's say against a magazine well, like you'll see on RHS M4s and whatnot. Those are pretty much the three positions where the hand and arm doesn't get severely deformed. Um, you really need to play around with it because you can, again, you can make an animation in here that will look fine based on how the rig is set up here, but then you get an arm out and it's, and it's just a mess, really. And that's Bohemia's fault. You can't change what Bohemia does unless you go and complain on the forums, of which even then they're really not going to do anything.